Hello parents and students, this is Ricardo, one of your Tech Tosas, and today we are going to learn how to log into ClassLink from home um, using one of these quick cards that we have available for you students or just logging in with your regular username and password. So there's many ways to get to ClassLink. You can get it from the district website by looking for it. This is what it looks like. But you can just go to the district and then go scroll down to the bottom and we have a place where we can log in. Okay, so if you click on it, it's going to take you to our ClassLink page. Once you're here, uh, you'll notice that if you know your username and password, you can just put it right in there and it's going to log you in automatically. But um, for our little ones, we also have a quick card by going to the bottom to this little circle in between the heart. You can actually click on it and when you click on it you have the ability to log in with the quick card so we're going to click on it okay once we click on it the um, computer is going to ask you if you want to give your camera permission to be used with ClassLink so you want to go ahead and say yes or click allow once you do that then the camera should open for you sometimes it takes a little bit of time but you will see that it's going to open for you and once it's open, you want to basically put the quick card right in front of the camera and you will see that it is going to log you in. So once you are logged into ClassLink, um, you'll see right now that your student has access to many of the apps or uh, instructional platforms that we use for our district. So you'll see that they'll have um, things like um, Sora, which is our reading um, digital reading app. Uh, down here, you will also see that they have access to their McGraw Hill, which is our uh, ELA English, our Google Classroom. But the first time that the kids use this, because they are home, it is going to ask for an extension that they have to install. So we're going to click on Sora right now. And when you click on it, you are going to see that it's going to open, but instead of automatically taking us into Sora, it's going to ask you to install an extension so the first time you do this is going to say do you want to install this extension because it is not installed you want to say yes install to chrome so you're going to click on the blue button once you click on it it's going to take some time and it's going to take you to the chrome web store right here you have the ability to install add to chrome you want to click on add to chrome and once you click on it um, it's going to say, do you want to add this extension? You want to say yes. And then on the top right, um, you're going to see that it's going to give you a notice saying this extension has been added to your browser. So now that we have the extension, you can close that. You can close these two tabs that we had open before. So we're going to close our Chrome Web Store. We're going to close the uh, window with the extension and we're going to go back to ClassLink. And now you will notice that if we go to Sora or any of your platforms, you're going to click. And now because we have the extension, your students should automatically be logged in to anything that they want to use, whether it be um, Google Classroom, Sora, uh, Wonders, uh, our math platform. So if you have any question, please contact your school or district.